just now i invite this one bisharupanand ji but uh, i think he is he may be in samadhi <laughs> just just i want to call to some disturbance he can join because uh, we i'll ask him he can give blessings om nama shivaya gurave सच्चिदानंदमूर्तये निष्प्रपंचाय संताय निरलंबाय तेजसे ओम शंकर शंकराचार्य केशवं बादरायण सूत्रभास वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः स्मर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्यमवद व्याप्त देहाय श्री दक्षिणा मूर्त नम श्री दक्षिणा मूर्त नम ओं शाते शाते शांति ओ गणपत नम ओं गंगुभ्यो नम ओम ऐं सरस्वत नम ओं क्लीं कालिकाय नम ओं क्लीं भद्रकल नम ओं दुम दुर्गाय नम ओं हेम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय शिवोहम शिवोहम सचिदानंदोहम शिवोहम 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 सचिदानंदोहम शिवोहम शिवोहम अमरात्मा शिवोहम 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 ओम याद सर्वभूते विद्यारूपेण संस्थिता नमस्ते 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 नमो नम ओमनेक जन्म संप्राप्त जन्म कर्म विदाहीन आत्मज्ञान प्रदान तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम ओ गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु वैष्णव गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम सो हरि ओम तत्सत हरि ओम तत्सत हरि ओम तत्सत सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सेलिब्रेट द इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ योगा और इंटरनेशनल योगा डे एंड टुडे इज द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ जून 2022 and nowadays everybody celebrate yoga day as a festival right <laughs> it's good sometimes we can be free ourselves to celebrate yoga festival 
that means it means we are little bit relax the disciplines hmm of the yoga and you can see that lord shiva was not celebrate yoga as a festival himself and it must be clear lord shiva is the master of the yoga shastras right so lord shiva <clears throat> is the guru of the yoga shastras of the yoga vidyas and lord shiva taught to mother parvati all kind of your yoga vidyas right so mother parvati although she was the wife of lord shiva consort of lord shiva but she received all knowledge as a great disciple of the lord shiva am i clear that hmm atmana so lord shiva he did not uh, celebrate the yoga as a festival like today we do <laughs> so lord shiva was a great uh, lord shiva is a master of uh, yoga guru of yoga he never give the science of a yoga vidya to mother parvati as the easiest way lord shiva tested mother parvati so many times huh so finally end of the day mother parvati follow the hard disciplines as per the instruction of the lord shiva then she was able to receive the knowledge of the yoga shastra the parabhyas and same time also parabhyas the science of atman the science of yoga vidya she received with a following the hard discipline of the gurukul life right <laughs> so lord shiva have the gurukul at that time and lord shiva never give him the science of yoga vidya if you have there is impurities abhitya ignorance or doubts or no trust so therefore mother parvati took river how many times atmanan how many times mother parvati took river i think more than 64 times we heard 64 times right 64 times as per my maybe she took many lives <laughs> but being a good student and good disciple of lord shiva she took 64 times rebirth and after that she received the all knowledge of her atma gyana right if you study the vigyana bharava tantra mother parvati to receive so many knowledge so many wisdom but she was unable to free herself she was unable to get the wisdom and knowledge of atma gyana and finally she request lord shiva in order to get the final yoga vidyas from the lord shiva in order to attain atma gyana and brahma gyana and so here she can find herself the higher love right that what we have been studied through the vigyana bhara tantra so it means mother mother parvati she took so many rebirths in order to get the final knowledge the gurus they never give the final knowledge so far a disciple have the doubts not fully trust 100% and that you can see that the best example between 
Lord Shiva and Mother Parvati. Right? I give one example, and through this example, you can understand. It was the time Lord Shiva accept Lord Rama, his guru, like this. You understand as for the mythology. So Lord Shiva accepting to Lord Rama as his personal guru, the Ishta guru. <laughs> and when Lord Shiva accept, accepting someone guru, he must be clear that what kind of person must be and must be Atmanya and Brahminyan as well. Because Lord Shiva is not a normal student or normal disciple, right? But the same time, Mother Parvati has the doubts on the Lord Rama. So Mother Parvati was doubt. Mother Parvati thinking Lord Rama is a simple, ordinary human being who have no knowledge of the Atma Jnana or the Brahma Jnana. So he was doubt on the Lord Rama. At the same time, he was doubt on the Lord Shiva. Right? So what happened? So Mother Parvati, she did not listen to Lord Shiva. And she wanted to test it to Lord Rama. Is it actually... Is a, he has been realized himself or his Atmajan or the Brahmajan. If an ordinary being, then cannot be guru for the Lord Shiva. But somehow, then Lord Shiva said that, all right, but I believe and I understood. Lord Rama is not a common, ordinary being and a human being. And he has knowledge of, he is the incarnation of Vishnu. He is the incarnation, the personification of God who know the science of Brahma Vidya. But Mother Parvati has no Atmajan that time, no Brahmajani. Otherwise, she could accept Lord Rama as a Brahmajani and she could accept Lord Rama as the Guru of Lord Shiva. Then she tell, and she have knowledge. She have knowledge of her mystic science, <laughs> all tantra with the black magic. So Mother Parvati has all kind of black magic, but no Atma Jnana, no Brahma Jnana of herself. Hmm? Then Mother Parvati have the all kind of supernatural, extraordinary mystic powers. And that is known by the Lord Shiva, anyway. Lord Shiva says that, go ahead, you test. Is it is a common, ordinary being, or is a Brahma Jnani, or Atma Jnani? Or he is the personification of the God itself, Lord Narayan. Then, she convert herself as a mother, mother Sita, the wife of Lord Ram. <laughs> And she can take, and Mother Parvati can change herself many kind of form because she have all kind of supernatural powers, right? Like Lord Hanuman in a Ramayana, and he can eh, change his physical body as a small bee, and he like expand his so big body, small body. He can have all kind of changes his body. Mm, that is called Kaya Kalpa, the transmigration knowledge. How called transmigration? You understand Kaya Kalpa? Am I clear that the English word transmigration? Eh? Kaya Kalpa. One can change the body, physical body, into animal, into small bee. It can expand. It can be lion, it can be tiger, anything can be happening. Right? A man can be woman, woman can be man. So Mother Parvati has this natural powers, supernatural powers. And she convert herself as a mother Sita. Sita means the wife of Lord Rama. And she all the way 
went to the Lord Rama. And what happened the end of this end of the day? The story was Lord Rama asked to the mother Parvati that time, Oh my dear mother, where my Lord Shiva? Where my Bhole Baba? Where Baba is now? How we come alone? <laughs> but she already changing her body as a mother Sita, the wife of Lord Rama. She can change her body, everything. But Lord Rama was the Brahma Jnani, not the ordinary being. But she was not accepting Mother Parvati as a Sita, as his wife. So at that time, Mother Parvati was saved. You understand? She felt, she felt guilty. Huh? She felt the guilty. So what happened? After that, she returned to the story was like that. She returned to Lord Shiva. Who returned? Mother Parvati. She returned to Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva, he can see everything like that. Today, we have a online, we have digital, like Zoom, right? We have the passwords and everything. We connect each other. But at that time, so Lord Shiva, all password of the all channels, whatever happening around the world. Without a password, he can connect. But today we need password internet. But Lord Shiva, no need internet, no need password, no need Zoom. And he can see all the channels. <laughs> what is going on in the world? And even Lord Shiva, he will no need to open the eyes. And he said, in meditation, he closed the eyes. And he can see all the channels, right? Without paying the electricity bill and Wi-Fi bill, right? Internet bills. Right? No need to send the rockets to the moon and to space. Nothing. So Lord Shiva has the supernatural power. He can see the all channels. So somehow, end of the day, Lord Shiva not accepting Mother Parvati as his wife because he, she, converted herself, changed herself into the wife of a Lord Rama. So as for the Sanatan Dharma, as for the Vedic science, as for the Guru Paramparas, when the Guru's wife cannot be your own wife. So Guru's wife, we accept as a mother, right? The partner of the Guru will be your own mother as you are decided. So this is the Vedic traditions. So Lord Shiva accepting the wife of uh, Lord Rama as his own mother, right? So therefore Mother Parvati will be no more accepted as his wife of uh, Lord Shiva itself. So end of the day what happened? The Mother Parvati has no choice. She has to leave this body and it taken rebirth again. So we can, so what I mean to you today in International Day of Yoga, so Lord Shiva was, a, no, Lord Shiva is a great master and he was not relaxed any rules and regulation and the code of the conduct you know, not accept as a disciple. Even accepting as his own wife, he was fully disciplined. So therefore, what I mean, yoga needed discipline, yoga anusasana. So international day of yoga, no matter, we can celebrate yoga as a festival, but we need to have proper discipline of the life. Then we can receive the proper knowledge and wisdom of the yoga vidya, like Lord Shiva taught to Mother Parvati. So therefore, Mother Parvati done 64 times mistakes. Not one time, she have always doubts, confusions, and no trust to the Guru. So Lord Shiva represents as Guru, and Mother Parvati as a represents as a disciple as well. But she have always doubts on the Guru, on the Master, on the Lord Shiva, right? She have always doubts. So what happening end of the day? So when you have doubts on your own Guru, on your own Master, so the real gurus, they never give the knowledge, never give the wisdoms.
Am I clear that? So therefore, the International Day of Yoga, you must learn one thing. If you study yoga with any guru, any acharyas, with any masters, you supposed to have no doubts. And you must trust 100%. Then only the wisdom of yoga, you can implement what you have been received from your guru, from your teachers. Otherwise, the knowledge of yoga not going to work out for your inner self or inner peace of the mind, even for your good health, even for the harmony. What you study? Yoga for health, harmony, and peace of the mind. That what our Honorable Prime Minister of India declared the 15th, 2015, the 21st of June, or the United Nations of uh, United Nation in the New York in America. So what I mean, no matter what, how we celebrate the science of yoga, but we must remember the foundation of yoga to surrender to guru, surrender to master, led free from all kinds of confusion and doubts. So late, we have learned today the skills of uh, being a student of yoga. Number one, self-surrender to guru. Complete surrender to guru. Trust 100% to guru. There should be absence of doubts, confusions. And you must keep a continuity, your love and trust and dedication and complete surrender to your own master own teacher, own acharyas. Where you have been educated, the science of yoga, or where you have. Currently, you are continuing your study. So these skills, you must cultivate. Then only you can walk the path of yoga. Then you can celebrate yoga as a festival, or yoga as a science of Atman, you can celebrate our science of uh, Brahmagyana, the science of love, the science of freedom, the science of enlightenment, or science of Nirvana. So yoga is a science of Nirvana, Mukti, liberation, Mukhya. That is the way we must celebrate. So, okay, so everybody celebrates science of yoga as for health, peace of the mind, and harmony. But we must celebrate today the science of yoga is for the science of Atma Jnana and Brahma Jnana. <laughs> and where you can find inner love eh? and the higher truth. Then becoming free from all kinds of suffering and miseries. Am I clear that you may practice asanas, you may practice pranayama, you may do yoga nidra or you may practice astanga, asana, pranayama, eh? sorry, yama, niyama, asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana, sana. Or you may practice jnana yoga, hmm? jnana yoga, viveka, vairagya, sarsampad, and mamakhyattam, the chatuspad, the four flowers. Or you may study hatha yoga, the seven step of hatha yoga. What is that? Satkriyas. Asana, pranayama, hmm? then mudras, bandhas, then you study dharana, dhyana, and samadhi. So these are the seven steps there. Or you can study the nine type of bhakti yoga. Or you may study the karma yoga. Just simply dedicate your life to the master, to the guru. Let's serve the guru day and night like the disciple of Adiguru Sankaracharya, like in Milarepa, he did simply karma yoga, nothing else. So you know the Milarepa is the great yogi, great master in the Tibet. And once upon a time, he went to his guru to get the knowledge of Atman. And he was very much suffering that time. So he was unable to <clears throat> happy himself. So then Milarepa went to his guru so Guru is instructed to do simple karma yoga, build the house, eh? build the building. 
So Milarepa keep make the building. His gurus used to destroy the house every time. And Milarepa keep build keep build the building, the, making the house. But again, guru destroying every time. But after some time, so Milarepa developed the skills of trust, surrender, no doubts, the instruction of his masters, his master, no confusions. He developed the skills of tolerance. He waited for a long, long time. He developed himself kindness. He developed himself trust, love. These are all are the skills. End of the day, Milarepa received the science of Nirvana, the science of freedom from his guru. So this is the way how to do Karma Yoga. Don't expect the results of, her, of your actions. So Karma Yoga is the highest yoga in order to get also Atma Jnana and Brahman Jnana. And today we study the science of yoga many parts of the world, but we don't study Karma Yoga. And until unless you study Karma Yoga, there is no implementation of yoga or application of yoga, how to apply. So it's very important to learn how to apply the applications of yoga in your daily life, moment to moment, daily life. Even after sleep, still you can practice yoga. <laughs> eh, one has to practice yoga. Eh? The state of our consciousness and unconsciousness and subconsciousness. Even if you are going to Turiyati. So the message of our yoga is to develop the skills. Trust. Eh? Trust is very important. And a constant practice. Eh? Constant practice. So one had to practice yoga for a long, long time. Until, unless you became a light match. Eh? Like Mother Parvati, she study yoga. How many lives? 64 lives. Study again, doubt comes. Again, study. Again, study. Again, study like this. So sometimes it will be karma. Eh? Due to your karma, maybe sometimes happens, we postpone to practice yoga, but keep continuity to yoga all the time. Then, then you can bring inner peace and happiness and love within so our aim of yoga is to free ourselves, to understand ourselves, the purpose of life, the meaning of the life. That's why Gurudev Swami Sivan say that. What is your, what is the aim of yoga? What is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of life? Hmm? They say, you are not this body, not this mind, immortal self you are. Enquire who am I? Know thyself and be friend. When are this body, not this mind, immortal self you are. Enquire who am I? Know thyself and be free. Om 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 Om. You are not this body, not this mind, immortal self you are. Enquire who am I? Know thyself. And be free, serve, love, give, purify, meditate, realize. Om, 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 om. Inquire who am I? Know thyself and be free. Om, 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 om. This is your duty, foremost duty, do it now. This is your duty, foremost duty, do it now. What is that? So know yourself. Know thyself. Be free. This is your duty, the foremost duty, the principal duty to be done. Then the rest of things, it can be done later. So this is your duty, foremost duty, do it now. Om, om. Om, 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 om. The purpose of life, the purpose of yoga, the aim of yoga, to know yourself. To know thyself. So what you have to do? Serve. So Swami Sivanand, he taught us to serve karma yoga. The past is karma yoga. But today, we practice 
so many techniques so many techniques right hatha yoga raja yoga asana yoga pranayama yoga kundalini yoga chakra yoga yantra yoga so many yogas but we are not purified ourselves so really very difficult to receive the pure knowledge so pure knowledge one can obtain only receive when you do karma yoga seva so therefore swami sivanand uh, he make the special ashtanga yoga <laughs> what is the ashtanga yoga of swami sivanand sar love give number 1 sar number 2 love sar love give number 3 purify 6 sar love give purify meditate that the fifth stage realize enlightenment then what happen comes astangya be kind be good so when that after that you became be kind and be good good person you became until enlightenment you never can be kind you never can be compassion not possible you may kind for one moment because of your selfishness you kind for a moment right you kind for a two moment for me one day maybe two days maybe one year maybe two year maybe 10 years maybe this life you kind but you cannot kind all the time only you can be kind when you are enlightened then you are become good person as a gentle person we say ladies and gentlemen right we give lectures right in english huh my dear ladies and gentlemen right we give it like this which gentleman after enlightenment you can be gentleman right so therefore we have to be very clear we speak the words of oh be kind be compassionate be good is not possible until unless you practice this eh? six steps of yoga sir love love means anything you do with love sir love give every time to learn to give not always to learn to receive and when you are expect something to receive then you are you are not walking the path of yoga anymore not possible so we are always disappointed because according to our expectation we don't receive because you don't learn how to give when you learn to give they there will be no expect to receive because you always learn how to receive we expect how to receive we never learn how to give so we have to learn how to give and give and give so therefore swami sivanand was called givanand not a sivanand give and give we call givanand bliss in give right swami sivanand is bliss in give so that the lord shiva lord shiva never he expect something to receive from anyone he only give and give and give and give right lord shiva always give he never expect anything from anyone to receive therefore everybody love the lord shiva lord shiva never ask anything from you therefore you can see the 33 million god and goddess everybody pray to lord shiva oh please help us please help us you give us give us give us the lord shiva never pray to no one please give me this speak please give me this you have nothing to need we don't need nothing right he always stay in the cremating place even he have no house right he have no cloth he put some tiger skin sometimes if he was traveling in the forest if some animal die he putting that skin he don't have proper ornaments nothing he don't have proper you know sometimes see he have not uh, yeah, body decorations hmm? like uh, people put the lipstick and all things like ladies like mother durga she put lot of lipstick right <laughs> but mother kali don't do that <laughs> so lord shiva like brahma vishnu all god and goddess they have so much decoration they have so much paintings and dressing you know they go to like a cosmetics but lord shiva never use cosmetic he put all assets is all body he simple beg his food right so lord shiva was always living in a simple format So Lord Shiva is called Givanan, eh? bliss and give. That's why among the all God and Goddess, Lord Shiva is the incarnation of compassion. 
the personification of compassion we call it karuna avatar avatar means incarnation so the compassion eh? personification of the compassion that the lord shiva am i clear that so this way we have to learn serve love give purify when you give only you can purify when you expect to always receive then you can't walk the path of a spiritual it's not possible not possible right path of spiritual minute means in order to achieve the nirvana mukti the freedom hmm? so they are for serve love give feel try meditate meditation the daily meditation the regular meditation is help you the right understanding it means management of the mind meditation is all about to management of the mind understand properly what kind of mind that is called you already been study chitta vritti niraditi yoga so when you understand vritti and vritti is a divisible in different state of the consciousness that is called mind hmm the conscious and unconscious subconscious mind so that comes in meditation meditation means to understand properly the three stages of the mind and let free from the karma what you are accumulate for the suffering right so the moment you understand vritti the moment you understand all the karma and let free from the all karma the karma of the suffering so that's why lord buddha say that to understand the root cause of the karma root cause of suffering that known as nirvana and freedom so therefore meditation brings in order to free from the all karma liberate the karma and free from the sufferings means and become a enlightenment enlightenment is nothing but free from all sufferings and difficulty and problems and that is the enlightenment enlightenment not something eh? bliss in the sky and heaven and all these things bliss is so enlightenment is something free from the sufferings free from the miseries and free from the difficulties that known as enlightenment and once you are free from suffering and miseries and difficulties so naturally you are entering into kingdom of shiva loka brahma loka atma jnana and brahma jnana that known as nirvana mukti freedom liberation enlightenment and so on am i clear that and these are the message the international day of yoga <laughs> international day of yoga not and at stretching the leg and head putting the leg on the head and head putting on the leg this is not about yoga yoga you have to understand properly and eh, systematically and practice eh, under guidance of the gurus under guidance of the sincere masters like lord shiva eh, and like mother parvati eh, and follow the right discipline otherwise you kick out always from the master <laughs> you do little mistakes like lord shiva he kick out his student mother parvati and you always will be kick out but somehow master always accepting the disciple no matter disciple how much do wrong eh? no matter but again you take the riba again come to master until the final enlightenment the final freedom then and in samadhi that is the meditation realize realize means entering into kingdom of uh, super consciousness and where you became free yourself then after that you became be kind be compassion naturally happens once you realize your, yourself there is no misery there is no suffering so naturally your kindness and compassion comes towards others so ordinary being cannot a compassion and kind not possible if they are kind for temporary huh? so therefore enlightenment person only can be compassion and kind towards others then he become good remain and for ever for others and becoming good for yourself and becoming good for the others so this is called ashtanga yoga as per the swami sivanand we study ashtanga yoga differently as per the patanjali <laughs> so these are the what i have been try to and understand what gurudev swami sivan and said about the science of yoga and becoming good yourself good for others and today i heard the message our gurudev swami sivan ashram 
the nominate get the prime minister words of the yoga hmm? today i heard the message so the divine life society the sivananda ashram and this year they nominate in order to receive the highest national awards of the yoga it's nice that that too late already government of india <laughs> to give the awards to the our uh, sivananda too late and eh? the swami sivanand and he was the pillar of yoga and eh? the light the light of yoga and he spread yoga in 1932 around the world and his disciple his grandchildren is like a uh, like like me for example i am the fourth generation huh eh? so you can see swami sivananda opened the door to the west and around the world since 1932 today of course as officially united nation received this but swami sivananda the first person i think so many before there are many yogis but especially in rishikesh is famous for the yoga as a light has of yoga that light brought by the lord Uh, swami sivanand gurudev swami sivanand hmm? so like that so i am i was uh, today i feel very glad so i am gurudev swami sivanand ashram and receiving the the highest award of the yoga and from the prime ministers but anyway already we have to have received our guru place huh? and uh, but anyway i feel so glad and happy Uh, the achievements of our the gurus and the masters. So, and before I am going to conclude the message of the International Day of Yoga, I would like to ask you all of you in Messier your message to the around uh, to the world to the around the world because this kind of message we are putting the YouTube or the Facebook so everybody. can receive some message of the interest day of yoga so i would ask you atman the first and here also we have three audience so ami kalas and here and also uh, the least less 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 or lazy so lias from the brazil miss lias from brazil the madam and the mr matthew from the britain and they are also physically present here but also they can tell you also few words but atman the first so you speak now om namah shivaya yeah we are we are very lucky to hear about yoga today yoga awareness day is today because many people are not aware of yoga this is why we need this awareness day for yoga and also for shiva we are lucky that we hear about shiva because Shiva is very prominent now in the Kali Yuga. In the previous Yuga, Kali, uh, Shiva was not so prominent. If you read the Vedas, you don't hear so much about Shiva. You only hear about Agni and Brahma. And it's only today that Shiva revealed his knowledge through Mother Kali, through Mother Parvati, because the humans of today need them. We need yoga. In previous ages. people did yoga they did not talk about it because it was like brushing your teeth you do not, you do not talk about brushing your teeth and people did not have so much problem before but they did they did yoga anyway to liberate their souls today we need yoga for harmony and peace and that's why we need the yoga awareness day there are many awareness days for this beer day day of music day for the flowers day for nature yes and today the longest day of the year so um, narendra modi chose to be the yoga day yoga awareness day and you watch the indian television all day you see people doing asana in the big places so because you're not aware but today you are aware to put on your tv you always see people doing yoga in indian television not here in western television so we are lucky we are aware of yoga we are aware of shiva om namah shivaya jai kalima jai kalima om namah shivaya thank i just also add one word so actually the first human being received the knowledge of yoga from the lord shiva 
there is no human being received the direct knowledge from the lord shiva as per my knowledge but maybe i have to research more deeply but so far i know until now i think lord shiva giving his all knowledge to mother parvati so mother parvati the first guru as a human being and give this knowledge to the and to us as per i as per my highest understanding higher higher consciousness of course i never been study any shastras but i uh, meditate i try to get this consciousness today after my 30 years i say we study where coming from yoga so i was meditate and uh, i was vision of lord shiva i understood that lord shiva and giving all knowledge to mother parvati and then mother parvati taught all signs of yoga or tantra all vidyas to others so therefore so we can say that so we can say that uh, out of my due respect to mother kali and durga i think the first guru will be the human being that is the first guru is the mother parvati and who taught the all signs of uh, brahma vidya and to all of us today so you have to understand that so therefore we have to pray to mother the shakti so that we can reach to the atma gyana we can reach to shiva loka then we can enter kingdom of shiva so this is the message of intense day of yoga i don't think anyone received the knowledge from this shiva directly except mother parvati and only mother parvati if i have more knowledge more wisdom so i'll take the shastras i lack the gurus i lack my gurus i lack the many other gurus that i can bring more knowledge to you in future or next intensely yoga day and this is a special message for the uh, around the world uh, and special message to the and the many and thanks to our honorable prime minister uh, sri narendra modi ji who did very nice karma yoga and seva <laughs> for the around the world i can call it seva uh, so our prime minister narendra modi he did seva is sarvet as is karma yoga as is karma to bring uh, the science of yoga uh, into on the international platform right so thanks to all of you thanks to mr prime minister modi ji if you listen in the youtube in future <laughs> so and now we'll ask to vidyanand from the cyprus please say a few words Namaste, Swami Ji. Namaskar. Namaskar. Uh, Jai Guru Dev, Hari Om, Om yeah. Namah Shivaya. I understand uh, very difficult to educate nature. And uh, mm, that uh, very right uh, about Parvati. She has to surrender to Shiva and believe to him and trust him. And after that, she can purify his uh, power, Shakti, or... Uh, how you explain uh, black magic <laughs> and uh, she has to put uh, all power to shiva only after that uh, we can took a new birth of love or uh, firework <laughs> and uh, just after that uh, yoga start huge connection and uh, i understand the high practices in yoga it's uh, tantra Hari Om Jai Guru Dev Unmute Guru Ji Swami Ji aap you are muted Mr Kapil please go ahead okay hari om hari om namaste happy international yoga day to all of you from the world capital of yoga rishikesh and from the banks of the mother ganga and himalayas so i will just say as yoga is the science of life the way of life so may we bring this yoga this knowledge 
aspects into every aspect of our, our life, how we speak, how we talk, how we communicate with people, how we think, and how we live our life. So it will be nice, and we must implement this knowledge, this, uh, this knowledge into our daily life, as this is a very powerful knowledge, and uh, it's the way of life. And also yoga, in a simple way, we understand yoga means addition. So let me add more happiness, more joy, more love in our life and for others also by practicing this uh, yoga, meditation, pranayama and other spiritual knowledge on this journey. So thank you. Ariyo. Ariyam Tassa. Now, with their Julie. So you can come to this side next to the chair. Hello. You. So I'll invite you to speak a few words. Uh, you will speak in Portuguese. You don't need to speak. Please go ahead and unmute yourself. Julie, please unmute yes. yourself. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um, I would just like to say that up until three years ago, yoga, all I knew about yoga was that it was an exercise. I really didn't know anything about yoga at all. And I'm just super grateful that through your efforts that you've reached people in the United States and all over the world. I mean, it was a very unlikely event that I would ever meet you and learn all the things that I've learned. So I'm very grateful about that. And yoga has been a huge it's been a huge impact on my life. And so I'm super grateful and um, glad that you've done all the work and effort that you have and others like you. And I'm just glad to be a part of it. So thank you. So thank you, Julie. And this nice message from the America. Now, we'd like to ask, I would like to uh, uh, invite Swami Kalasan. Thank you. No. We cannot hear. So, Swami Kailasananji, please unmute, I think, your audio so everybody can listen. Can anyone listen to Swami Kailasanan? Atmanan? No, nobody can listen. Has no audio installed. Okay, so maybe. Swami Kalasan, he can check his audio and then he will we'll invite after a nest. After two minutes, we can invite him. So now, I would like to invite here our uh, guest and from the inner kingdom. And his, na his name, his name, uh, Mr. Matthew, and here is for course for the Karma Yoga course for seven days. Hello, everybody. You can speak loud. Um, yeah, I'm put on the spot a little bit. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. Um, but my thoughts so far first time at the Sashram, first time doing Karma Yoga, and for me, it's only been what now two days. And already I can see how different it is to what the normal expectation of yoga is. Um, putting it in action and really doing something practical that can be taken to the rest of your life. You don't know, walk in down the street doing all your stunts. Maybe some people do, but um, I don't. So doing the karma yoga and, and learning how to kind of, yeah, difficult to explain, but learning how to become less attached to all, all the things that are asked of you in daily life and that give in without expecting anything in return. Um, very, very difficult, but I can definitely recommend uh, doing some uh, either focused calm yoga or just keeping that in mind. It's been really helpful for me. But yeah, I think that's okay. So, so thanks to the Mr. Matthew for his valuable and uh, the message Within a few days, what you have been experiencing in the ashram is sharing with you. 
now i would like to ask uh, i would like to ask to and here is another madam she also sitting my right side and mr math my left side so she is from bangalore her name is billy hi Hi, I am here doing a course of uh, Tantra Kundalini. Uh, and this is so good. My English is not so good. Uh, in my country, we speak to Portuguese. Okay. So, anyways, if you allow to speak Portuguese, you can say it. So please speak. In Portuguese? Yes. Oi, gente, boa noite. <laughs> Alguém okay, tem em português? Não. Não, não. I mean, I allow her to speak in Portuguese because we are sharing this her message. So anyone can listen, they can also listen in Portuguese. So unable to speak English, so it would, would be nice you can say it in Portuguese as well. Please. Um, I'm just Whatever you use on your body, what do you think about yoga? What do I think about yoga? Hmm. Um. Bom. Para mim, uh, yoga representa a união de várias coisas. E eu acho que vocês não devem estar entendendo nada. <risos> Tudo bem. Okay. Um, in this moment, I feel that um, I am learning about uh, love and about, about myself. And now I am so happy for this. Thank you. <laughs> then you can say it on your happy story. Okay. So... So thanks, thanks to all of you now. Again, once again, yeah. I would like to invite uh, Swami Kalasan. Swami Kalasan. Swami Jai Ron, I'll talk to you. Yes, as birds were talking. Thank you, Ron. The fact it was really mother poverty and the dissemination of the science of yoga to the world. The yoga descended, though yoga descended, yoga was founded by Shiva. It came to the world only through mother poverty, through her compassion for her creation. Okay, that's all. And I thank Swami Karasam, I'm sorry, <laughs> Swami Samar Pranamdaji for giving this information to us. It's very interesting and very unique. Thank you. Thank you. And also, I would like to ask again, Swami Kalasan, is he going to send some message to the around the world? What people can do? And how can people implement uh, the science 